So it's 8.48 and I'm just leaving the neighborhood. I'm leaving a little bit later today. Shit, I can't even see nothing. I could have just got hit by a car. I'm leaving a little bit later than usual because, or uh, well, usual for this week. Because this week I've been leaving the neighborhood around like, hmm, 8, not 8.48, 7.48. And then I get to her neighborhood all early. So I have to like double park somewhere because all of the um, parking spaces have numbers on them. And I'm not trying to get cussed out. I have to double park somewhere and look stalkerish or creepyish. If, if, that, if that neighborhood has somebody in there that just stares out the window all day, every day, they've probably noticed for the past three days that I've sat there. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just leave a little bit later. So, and get there exactly at eight instead of sitting there for about six minutes. But anyways, happy Thursday. I hope everyone is having a blessed day whenever you are watching this. Um... Some of Kendall's roommates, well, one, and the rest of them are leaving today. One left yesterday, and the rest of them are leaving today. And I'm just thinking, like, I feel like I should be going somewhere. You know, that whole getting out of school and hopping into the real life stuff is so different. Like, there's no breaks. You know, you might get a couple of days off for, like, Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's, but there's no break. Like, this is the first time in some years that I've had... I think my entire life actually this is the first time in my entire life that I haven't had like a long period of time off from school or work or whatever because of a holiday but hey it is what it is and of course the day I decide to leave later is the day that it takes forever for this light and I'm behind the school bus Jesus please but yeah on the way to work and I will see y'all later because I have nothing to talk about right now Damn, I hate when they change good songs on the radio. But um, I'm off of work, about to go home, eat some lunch with Kendall. Um, and yeah, work was pretty good today. Just an update on the baby, because I know y'all want to know about him and everything. Is he still refuses to sleep on his own? He likes human touch. I'm starting to realize that because even if I like try to lay him in the crib and like put a pillow right there and no, don't nobody talk about suffocation because I'm sitting there watching him um, just to see what happens and he just does not, he don't bang with it. He only likes human touch. But I'm trying my hardest not to hold him when he's awake. So majority of the time now, I just have him set, I'm um, laying on his little play mat or I have him um, laying in his crib. So let's just say 85% of the time he's on his own because I don't want him getting so used to being in the hands, in his, in people's hands that he can't, you know, do anything at all. So, um, while I was at work today, I did a whole bunch of trying to plan out videos for the new year. So I'm so excited for what is going to come to my channel this year to come. I'm excited for the new changes. One of the changes that I want to start doing is to start using Final Cut Pro. I need to start studying how to use Final Cut Pro because I'm realizing just purchasing things and then playing around with it, that's just not my thing. I need to learn how to use it. I literally just learned how to use iMovie not too long ago and um, that was after I got my laptop. I sat and started watching like tutorials. So I need to start looking at Final Cut to Final Cut Pro tutorials now because the new year is in like literally 21 more days so I just need to get it together um and I'm so excited for what's going to happen for my channel I hope y'all like it um so yeah Whew. and just a little update um we decided that we're gonna leave um North Carolina and go down to Atlanta on the 23rd so we're gonna leave after I get off of work and just probably not gonna get there too late but I'm thinking about having the little meetup on the 26th so if you're in Atlanta please 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 let me know you know if you would like to meet up and everything I think um the 26th is perfect because we might just leave on the 27th. So I think that's the day after Christmas. I'm not sure if anybody has family stuff going on. I'm 
you know, I'm not too sure if anybody um, celebrates Kwanzaa. So just let me know. If not, I can change it to like the 27th, just earlier in that day. All right, y'all. Smooth that down. <laughs> so I am in the process of uploading my um, vlogmas. It's 1.34, so I decided that I should start trying to put my vlogmas up or try to put my videos up earlier throughout the day and not wait till the bare minimum of the day. That way more people can watch it. Um, so trust me, y'all, I'm trying to do better with that. So I just ordered us pizza for lunch and so far there's no other plans. And we were thinking about possibly going back to Charlotte for um, New Year's because we don't have any other New Year's plans. And yeah, so I'm super excited because right now I am at $28.99. <sighs> like, okay, so I think, let me see when I hit 2000 to make sure, make sure of my numbers. I hit 2000 subscribers around november 6th of this year obviously and i decided that i wanted to challenge myself and get to 3,000 subscribers before the new year and i'm almost there y'all i never honestly i didn't think i was gonna get it nevertheless before December is even halfway over. You know, that's crazy. So shout out to everybody that's new to my channel. I hope y'all love it. I'm just at loss for words because it's like I've gained a thousand subscriber, a thousand and like some change since November 1st. So hello <laughs> to all of y'all. I'm just in shock right now. I'm just sitting here just waiting until... It comes up that I have 2,900. I just really appreciate it. I'm at like loss for words right now. Okay. So let me tell y'all something. I've been doing YouTube since, well, I started my channel December 2013, but you can really say I really became seriously active February of 2014. And I have not had a MacBook and I haven't been proficient on anything to do with YouTube. I'm talking about, I just got a camera in February, no, March, one of the two. And I really started using, or really started implementing my camera on my channel this summer. And obviously I just got my MacBook in September. So I didn't know little tricks like you can message people on YouTube and see who's following you, all that. So I'm just sitting here looking at my subscriber count because now I'm hip to stuff. I know stuff more. And I'm... I see where you can go look at your subscribers and it says most popular. So I see it says style hall. I'm like, shit, style hall follow me? Okay, for a year. Then I see Miss Dreamer 101. Hey, Kayla. <laughs> that's that's my <laughs> that's my girl. I almost said the wrong word. And I, you know, I knew she was following me. And then next I see the Bells Plus One are following. Y'all know I love love that channel like she been following me for a whole month <laughs> oh no five five months y'all like that's just so crazy to me what the hell i'm in shock i didn't know i was worthy when your favorite youtuber follows you well i don't know if she watches my videos but i just want to say Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. It's just amazing when bigger YouTubers see something in you and follow you. Because they don't have to. Like, let's be real. Nobody has to subscribe to your channel. So, I just find it so crazy. Like, what the? I'm in shock. Give me a moment. I'm going to calm down. Undergraduate report. Y'all heard. That's what he was doing. And basically, we've just been talking about stuff. And I just want to address some things. I know I constantly get on here and talk about how I feel like I'm not in the place that I thought I would be as a graduate. And I don't know if other people are going through this, but I personally just go off of myself and I judge myself pretty hard. And it's just like, I'm not struggling by no means, because let's be honest, we eat well, right, Kendall? We have shelter over our head. I have a brand new car, you know? Rice. 
<laughs> Shut. Up. I don't even know the last time I struggled or not didn't know where I was going to get gas money from. Y'all see me wearing Victoria's Secret pink. Not that Victoria's Secret is so expensive that it's just like unbearable, but let's be real, Victoria's Secret isn't cheap either. I mean, we eat out, you know? So it's not to the point where it's just like, damn, I don't even know where I'm going to get 79 cents from to go get beefaroni. But it's also not to the point where if I wanted to go to Florida tomorrow, I could. That, that's just not possible unless I'm putting myself into some debt. So I just want to get to the point in life where I'm not comfortable because I am comfortable where I'm, what's the word that I'm looking for? What's more than comfortable? I guess excellent. And um, so yeah, and then I, I was watching some famous YouTubers Snapchat today and I'm not going to say who, but a YouTuber, all right, I'm going to say who, <laughs> Missy Lynn, no shade to her or anything like that. I personally like Missy Lynn, but um, she was snapping, and y'all know how um, famous YouTubers always snap their opinions or put their opinions on stuff, and yeah, you either agree or you disagree, or yeah. So basically, she was talking about how people want to keep up with the Joneses and... Um, Who's that? Stop. How people want to keep up with the Joneses and don't have money in their account. How people can go and spend money on Michael Kors and stuff like that, but not have five times that amount in their bank account or will go broke over a Michael Kors purse. Here's my thing. The reason why people do that and the reason why I understand why people do that is because that's how society is. If you don't have the Michael Kors, if you don't have the slay and weave, if you don't have the banging nails, if you don't have the, um, what's the word? Nissan Osma. <laughs> Y'all heard that? That's a thought car. <laughs> All right, that was a sidetrack. But if you don't have those type of things, people look at you like, oh, she a broke bee. Oh, she can't do nothing. Oh, she can't. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have something new, you're you're nobody. You're not irrelevant. If you if you're a female, you have not shopped at Victoria's Secret in the past week. You're not relevant. So I can see why people will go out their way to buy five hundred dollar weave and not pay rent. I can understand it. Do I condone it? No. I'm just saying. And then she said another thing along the lines of, I don't understand why people eat out and then don't have five times the amount in their account. And it's just like. That's where I decided to disagree with her because it's just, it doesn't, shut, stop. It doesn't make any sense. Like, I feel like, let's just say this. If you find a job where it's just like, you know, you are able to pay all your bills, you're no longer in debt, and you have like $100 to your name, why not go you know, treat yourself out and once in a while. I'm not saying you eat out every single night, but I'm saying what's wrong with going to a nice $50 dinner and just treating yourself? Why work so hard and not reward yourself? There's some people that literally work 24-7 for years, years, I'm talking about, until they're 65 years old and they're too old or, God forbid, too sick or, God forbid, they pass away. And they didn't even enjoy the money that they made. You know, y'all comment down below and tell me what you think about that. But in other news, Kendall and I might be going to Myrtle Beach this weekend. Like we got money. <laughs> Missy Lynn going to check us because we won't have enough money and we just hopping on the road. So are we going, Kendall? I don't know, girl. Don't put me on YouTube. I'm too high. All right, yo. You, you blow me. But anyways, good night, y'all. Love you. Shut up. Love y'all. Talk to y'all tomorrow.